Welcome back. Dr. Joshin of Contour Dermatology and Cosmetic Surgery Center is joining us this morning and he's going to discuss a big word, actinic keratosis, which uh, translated means a precancerous skin lesion and it's usually the result of sun damage. The patch of skin needs to be seen by a dermatologist and you and I have talked about this before because it's something that we take for granted living here in the desert. We just think it's all fun and sunshine, but it is the sunshine that's not quite so fun. Exactly. And, and is this something that everyone that lives here in the desert is bound to develop? Well, if you're fair skinned and you've had sunburns in the past, you have a high probability of developing an, an actinic keratosi. And these are very serious because if left untreated, they can become something like a, well, they can become a squamous cell carcinoma, which can be deadly if untreated. And at, at best case, if you get a squamous cell carcinoma, you can get a, a substantial scar for getting treatment for it. Now, how does a person, I mean, I, I know we're showing pictures right now of, uh, of some of these lesions. Uh, this, I believe, is a picture of what it actually looks like. Where do people usually find these on their body? Are they anywhere on, on the skin, all over? Or? Usually it's in sun exposed areas. So you'll see it most commonly on the face, on the arms, on the legs for women, on the chest, anywhere where you have sun exposure. Now, is this something that as a person that lives here in the desert, we should get annual checkups or more often than that? Well, it depends. If you have a history of skin cancers or actinic keratosis, you want to be seen more frequently. Um, if you've never had any, you probably want to get checked and you're, you're fair skin, you probably want to get checked at least once a year to, to see if you have any of these lesions. Now, is the rule of thumb, because I'd heard this years ago, rule of thumb is if you have uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, that always makes you a little more susceptible, susceptible as well? Sure, exactly. Um, the idea is that blonde haired, blue eyed people are more susceptible to sunburns. So the real issue is if you've had sunburns in your, in your life, you're more likely to develop precancers and skin cancers. Now, are these easy to treat? Um, if you have a few of them, they're very easy to treat. What we do is we use liquid nitrogen. It's the most common form of, of treatment. And with this, it's liquid ice. We freeze the spot. It causes a little scab to form, and then they fall off. Now, out here, so many people have so much sun exposure that um, they, they have extensive precancer. So in that case, what we want to do is we want to get a little bit more aggressive with treatment. We can do either topicals or this photodynamic therapy. And the great thing about the photodynamic therapy is you put a liquid on your skin, you sit underneath a sun lamp basically, it causes a sunburn reaction to these lesions that you Well see now that cancer. almost sounds contradictory to what you <laughs> said. <laughs> you're yes. sitting under a sun lamp but it was the sun that put you in this position. Right, well you're really, it's, it's a, a narrow wavelength of light so it's not really like getting sun exposure. So it's just activating the, the topical solution is what it's doing. It's just an activator and you can activate it with a laser or with this narrow band of light. So it's not going to cause more cancers. Okay, now last question because a sure. lot of people living here in a resort area, uh -huh. they want that beautiful glow. They like that sun exposure. Mm -hmm. So after they've been treated for a precancerous lesion, does that mean they have to stay out of the sun? Well, I never tell people that because I love being in the sun and we're in an outdoor resort. I mean, people swim, they play tennis, they golf, and so they want to be out in the sun. So we just want to be smart with our sun exposure. I'm a big advocate of wearing sun protective clothing because, you know, the sunscreen can be a little bit difficult, especially mm -hmm. for men. Um, wear your sunscreen, you know, wear hats, you know, try to avoid the peak hours of sunshine. So, you know, be smart, but get out there and enjoy our beautiful area. I mean... Wonderful. It's always a pleasure having you here, Dr. Timothy Joshin. And I will be back talking about our sunshine and how much of it we can expect over the next few days.